Okay, I find this to be a pretty interesting question. Um, it asks why the effects of neurotransmitters are short-lived. Okay, so once these um, the exocytosis occurs and neurotransmitters are released into the synaptic cleft, um, the the effects are relatively short-lived. And the reason the effects of neurotransmitters are short-lived is because once they enter the synaptic cleft, there's specific enzymes, and there's enzymes designed to cleave or break down the neurotransmitter, okay? And these enzymes are automatically working as soon as this transmitter is released. These enzymes start working, breaking it down, okay? So that's one reason why the effects are short-lived. And the other reason is there's this idea, there's this mechanism. It's called a reuptake mechanism. And this mechanism recycles neurotransmitter, brings it back into the cell so it can be incorporated back into vesicles. And these vesicles can again release the neurotransmitter when an action potential occurs again or when the cell reaches threshold. Okay. So it, go, it can go through the same process, but essentially there's a recycling mechanism. So when these two things, both the breaking down or the, or the um, breakdown due to enzymes, as well as the um, recycling of neurotransmitter through this mechanism, when both of these things occur, okay, what, what, it leads to short-lived um, activity, essentially. So that's why.